everyone, and welcome to The Frame. The world continues to witness an impressive increase in the number of modern processing plants helping to keep the firewood business afloat. One of the companies at the forefront of the wood energy revival is Nen Valley Firewood in Northamptonshire, England. Using only sustainable sources, the company produces a variety of clean-burning, kiln-dried logs, wood pellets, and wood mulch. However, the process used by Nen Valley's team is rather extensive. Once the logs are cut, they are dried naturally on stands and bearers off the floor for up to two years, during which the wind and sun help remove moisture from the wood. After which, the semi-dried wood is transported to the processing yard and is cut down to manageable sizes using specially designed log cutting machinery. Once cut into smaller pieces, the firewood is stored in barns and left to further dry for another six months. Measuring tools are periodically used to monitor the seasoning progress and determine whether the moisture level is right for the wood to be delivered to customers. And by the time the wood gets out, it is ready for a clean and efficient burn far better than what it used to be many years ago. In the past century, the world has witnessed rapid developments in the area of new energy sources. From nuclear power plants to solar and wind turbine farms, the energy sector has evolved to a great extent. But surprisingly, despite the multiplicity of new and greener sources, chemical energy produced by burning fuel wood is standing its ground in many parts of the world. From cooking and heating to facilitating off-the-grid living, the utility of this all-natural energy source has never been greater. The resilience of fuel wood energy is being firmly supported by the development of new and efficient machinery that are helping to facilitate the labor-intensive process of harvesting and processing wood for home use. These machines and elaborate processes effectively improve quality by stripping the freshly harvested wood of its moisture content and density. Cutting down trees and processing into logs in the past was extremely labor-intensive. Even the invention of the chainsaw was not enough to completely cut out the back-breaking effort required to fell, buck, and transport these logs. However, log-splitting technology has become far more efficient and innovative than ever before. The Hakepilke 55 Pro, for instance, can split a single log into two dozen perfectly sized pieces. It not only has a built-in automatic chainsaw, but the operator can modify the log lengths and heights, emanating from the splitter without having to stop the machine. Nowadays, both the cutting and processing of wood have been streamlined in ways the lumberjacks of the old days could never have imagined. Using large gripping attachments, backhoes, and forklifts, dozens of wood logs can be placed onto conveyors with ease. These logs can then be moved into position for cutting with minimal manpower required to operate the machinery. While the suitable firewood is stored and later hauled away for use, the sawdust and other wood waste are diverted into separate receptacles. Usually, they're further used in other sectors, including power generation in biomass energy plants. Wood waste is one of the most abundant, cost-competitive, and environmentally friendly biomass resources. 
Currently, the most cost-effective wood sources are residues from manufacturing and wood waste otherwise destined for landfills. Considering the environment, studies have shown that burning wood is actually much better for the atmosphere than burning fossil fuels. And since supplies can be replenished over the years by growing more trees, it is actually a carbon-neutral source of power as well. Due to its availability, firewood has a myriad uses for several different types of activities. Cooking being one of the most widely practiced of them. From smoking using wood chips to using wood-fired stoves or even cooking directly over wood pits. Both restaurants and homeowners are ditching charcoal in favor of this more flavorful and natural alternative. Not every type of wood is suitable for this process, however, and deciding which logs are best can come with a bit of a learning curve. Other than cooking, when it comes to heating homes, firewood is, again, an extremely popular source. Not only is it quick and efficient, but it can be much more affordable as well. Similar to cooking, even the wood used to heat homes is chosen and prepared with many considerations. As the modern world rediscovers the utility of wood energy, the business around firewood continues to see growth in almost every country. In 2019, the top exporters of fuel wood were Vietnam with $2.05 billion, followed by the United States with $1.4 billion, and Australia with about $1.1 billion. The global wood products market is expected to grow from $624.22 billion in 2020 to $866 billion in 2025 at a compound annual growth rate of 7%. From 2019, Italy has topped the list of fuel wood importers with $103 million, followed by the United Kingdom, Germany, and South Africa in that order. Unlike other fuel sources, firewood is very portable, which makes it easy to deliver on a citywide and regional basis. It's also very durable, so retailers don't have to worry about their stock going bad. Still, questions remain about just how eco-friendly this fuel source is. That's the end of today's feature on The Frame. Subscribe to the channel to catch us on the next video.